And I'm sure tonight, if they see each other, if it's not resolved, oh, the, the oh, same oh, thing oh, will happen. Because I've been there myself, we've all been oh, there. You seem to like to make assumptions which then back up your point, but it doesn't. Any assumption doesn't back up a single thing. Well, not everybody has an argument. There's nothing, do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, not, not everybody has an argument, though. Yeah. Knocking on my door. Charity begins at home, mate. <laughs> Charity begins with fuck off. <laughs> well, again, why do you feel like that? Because the guy's not on my door. Yeah. I'm dressed up like I'm wearing cancer research t shirt. I've got a little bag and everything like that. But at the end of the day, all he wants is my fucking money. Yeah. And how am I supposed to trust him? Yeah. When he's just fucking coming knocked on my door. Yeah. Simple answer, I don't, so fuck up. Yep. Anyway, to kind of wrap this up. Well, just before you wrap it, wrapping yeah. this up, I mean, okay. that guy coming to the door then, it just made me realise, not realise, I just recall something. Uh -huh. It's happened a few times while I've been in Manchester. Now, if, if I go to somewhere like Egypt or London, and I've got people begging for money off me all the time in the street. Mm, mm, mm. You just, you just say no. Yeah, and then you build up this defence, don't you? Automatic refusal of anybody who has that, that question, those set of parameters. Excuse me, do you have... And you just go, no, 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 no. But Excuse just, me, but, do you want to buy me a big then, issue? But then, no, 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 but no, then no. when I get... When I'm in Manchester, mm -hmm. right, and I've seen guys coming up and doing it, but maybe because I'm just used to the town centre and I know what the crack is and I know that... I never give money to these people because they're always just, it's just, it's just a fucking scam to them. Well, here's another Mostly. point. I mean, there's one or, few, one or two genuine people who actually fucking need some money and stuff like that, but just, just you know, don't give them any of them because they're, they're just fucking, they're, they're working the street all the fucking time, the same people doing the same right. shit. So you know that it's fucking, <laughs> it's bullshit. It's a, well, they're doing it, it's then, their job, I, they're but, getting paid but, from it. But, but, but so I, some of that money's see, going to them. I see people's response to it has it, just been absolutely fucking pathetic, man. The way that people respond to them, it's like... Go on. It's like they're, they're allowing themselves to be played with, like, they're, like they're, they're in this sort of position of, like, power that they might have some money that they could give to someone and therefore it's a big thing if they don't, do you know what I mean? Because it doesn't fucking... They find it uncomfortable with their ego or whatever. They can't just yeah. say no. I can't be seen to be refused to to give charity to somebody yeah. like that yeah. when I'm on the street in front of yeah. other people. You know, yeah. all this fucking bullshit, fucking yeah. guilt and Social vanity, conformity. fucking vanity comes into it. I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, well, I, I know exactly how you feel, mate. I've I've been there. Why don't you grow up and just say no? Don't I don't I ain't got any money. Stop bothering me. Right. Do you remember the famine in 1984, I think it was, Live Aid, Band Aid, whatever it was, and all those famous people, and we all got, it was like this global emotional um, utopia. You know, everybody was feeling so good with themselves. We're, we're, we're giving money to Ethiopia. Now, look at Ethiopia today. Go and ask those people today, how much of that, those, and it was millions, and it was like 180 million. It's the largest ever amount of money ever raised for charity. And it was for a single cause, really. And from that, they realized, that they started saying, oh, we can do all these other things, and we can, you know, dig wells, and we can send transport. You go over there now, a lot of that transport was bought and paid for by people like us who donated and did charitable things. And it goes to, well, I've seen the United Nations I've got all the nice trucks and things like that and they're covered with tarpaulins until such a time as the TV cameras come out then they're all driving about looking busy I don't know what's going on during the rest of the time there's probably some there's something going on some projects going on however you go into the shop and you see um, what are they called it um, St John's Ambulance Red Cross Food that's been donated by the Red Cross. That's another charity. So we've bought and paid for that. And it says on the side, not to be sold. This has been bought and paid for by, you know, people of the United States, for example. And it's in the shop. 
in its original packaging with that on the side being sold. Well, you've got to ask yourself, how did it get in the, this shop and be sold? Because anything like that, those big international things, it, 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 the deal is done because, directly with the government. So somebody, the government would have received the shipment. Minute, because somebody got given it, right? Yeah. Somebody got given it, and then they decided to sell it to somebody else because it was like, well, what do it's, I need? Mean? Do money. I need this, or do I need some more? Or do I need money more? I found plenty of money for making more money out of it. Yeah, but money, the, the people who, who it was supposed to feed who were starving, do you understand? Now, it could have been surplus left over from 1984 that they're now selling because the, the problem has been solved. However, there's still people Listen, in Ethiopia today I, I starving. Be, they're be still be collecting money today. I wouldn't be surprised if every fucking penny that goes into charity ends up in a fucking trust fund somewhere or, 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 or in some fucking securities that um, get put up on the fucking stock market rather than... Well, they it, use, is. Well, it, it is. Well, it is. They use it to make money from the people are told, you know, no, but anyone who, who gives to charities like that, they, they just they take it for they take it as gospel what they're told at the start, or they take the opposite, and, and that's and that's some kind of contract which then they, they fucking they pay out for. I mean, my fucking dad did it. For ages, you know, and fair play to him, you know, for... And my parents, they, they give for, money for, all the time. Well, it made me think about it, because my dad was doing it, and it was like, well, why are you doing it? Because, mm. you know, you, you, you don't know that they're doing what they're saying they're doing. How, how do you know that? What, because they send you a letter through once, once a year that says that they're doing this and that, and you just believe it. When, you know, Automated do you response. really know what the fuck is going on for real? You know, especially in, in this world where everyone's any anything to do with money, people are fucking. But can you not see essentially what those people are trying to do? Because they do recognise a certain global responsibility, uh, the fact that they have a lot, and there's a desire that should those in need need help. Well, we know that. Not, for example, I live not, here in England. Someone car, in another not, country. I'm hold on, hold on. I'm not just, another, just from their point of view, why they're form. doing it. They're not bad people for why. doing it. I'm not telling you why. It's another form of condescension. That's what it is. It's another form of patronising and condescension, yeah. and it's yeah. exactly the same as can you think. Well, do you think that's why they call us patrons when we go to, uh, yeah, you know, support they something? Like to make you think that you're important. But you're really being patronised. Yeah. yeah. This, <laughs> this possibly, it's going to happen anyway. So technically, it's free, isn't it? In a way, the event is a, is occurring. All right, expense has been paid we've, we've paid for the venue we paid for the speakers everything to be set up the big concert but now it's here it's here and it's gonna happen and if no one paid to ha uh, to see it then it's been a waste I mean it, this is why you know the TV companies and the artists and, and, and the radio stations and they're all like big one big conglomerate they've learned to work together and share the workload and the the benefits the profits of that. No, what they're benefiting, the, the, the main thing that these people are benefiting from at the moment, the people that are ripping us off and flogging all the propaganda out of us, is, is conventions that they've been putting in place for years. Yeah. That are, that are starting to bear fruit now because they've nurtured them in yeah. the fucking media and all of that shit. Well, that's why they'll say to you, you, you we've got Christmas and therefore 99% uh, of the world are, are having a celebration um, celebrating the birth of some guy who, I'll say, you said doesn't exist. But he exists enough for everybody every single year to celebrate it, but then claim their own reasons for doing it. Yeah, well, the justification, well, that's like, like giving to charity. It's called tradition. It's hard to break with tradition. You don't just break with tradition without a fucking good reason. Because uh, tradition is something that happens all the time. It's part of you. Uh, the the social you peer pressure we are the prisoners and we are also the guards of the prison and we enforce the rules when in the absence of the other government prison guard we go around saying why have you not bought for christmas oh you're me and you why have you not done such and such for the birthday or because they passed the driving test or you know some other reason to to bestow a gift upon others hey, is the importance of giving still as important these days? You know, giving for the sake of knowing that well, just, this is a good thing. It's a good point that you're making. You just give, you only give for Christmas or birthdays, isn't it? Or to charity. I, oh, to charity. I, I had a, yeah, people don't give every day. Oh, for your kids and your family. You know what I mean? But they don't see it as giving. Or they do, and they're very grateful. 
and that's why I say we are dualistic. Some people will be grateful for everything, and some people will be grateful for nothing, and then everything in between. There's only the black and white and the shades of grey. That's what we have emotionally, um, spiritually, and, and in our states of consciousness. <laughs> yeah, or the other guidance, which is really self-importance. Christ came with some brilliant messages, like you know, to, it is better to give than to receive. Self he, he was he was basically given a new set of laws that if you make this the government, I just think our life would I'm be. I'm concerned that you think there's no place for self importance now, even though. Self preservation? But to what extent? You self preserve, but then your children are going to die unless you, you sacrifice yourself and put them in the lifeboat and you drown in the water. That's what most loving parents would do. They'd make sure their children, their loved ones, would go before them. They say women and children first. That's a tradition. So what you're saying, you know, tradition takes people away from understanding themselves. No, tradition alone and and myth alone means nothing without purpose. There's a purpose to the myth, and the purpose is this is supposed to teach us a little wisdom. You can learn two things. You can learn ten things from this bit of wisdom, but please do learn something. Don't just let this story pass you by and don't think about it. There's, there's, there's a, an absolute apathy to thinking. You know, if, if a thought is too intense, that's why a lot of people, they can't handle me because I've got intense thoughts, mate. The rabbit hole is very, very deep. But at the bottom, you'll always find yourself. Well, and that's what I, makes I it deep. I think you find that what makes it difficult is that you do tend to jump around quite a lot and then you try and make one point about one thing and then you make another point about another thing. Yeah. And, and then you make another point about another thing. And, you know, the interconnection isn't there. Right, I apologise. I need to work on that. No, I'm saying it's an area for development. You know it is, I mean? yeah. Well, I'm hoping at the same time people can also, through conversation, Fill in the gaps because I don't want to say everything from I, A to Z I, because I'm out of the world. Your, 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 <laughs> your conversation style is, is more, more like a fucking onslaught, you know what I mean? A lot of the time, <laughs> true, and it's something we've all got to work on, but me especially. That's good, you know what I mean? It's good that you're passionate. It's also good that I try to recognize <laughs> everything that you're saying about myself. You know, I'm, I'm expected to look at myself as others do. What was that you said at the beginning? You know, I, and care what the other thinks. Well, now we've come full circle and realise, yes, you do. As much as the, don't think about what others think about you all the time, because that will drive you mad. Yeah, the balance the of time, it, because half the, time, the balance is... Half the time you'll be wrong, but it's... it's, it's <laughs> it's a balance, do you see? That's why there's many people out there call themselves a free man like and they're on one side of the scale. Well, people, and you want the scale balanced. Myself included, living in fear of what people think of me, you know what I mean? And I'm probably right myself because that's respect, isn't it? The For every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if the reaction you've reacted to is an overreaction, you're going to get another reaction that will balance the scales in justice. You understand? The scales don't get balanced there's still somebody owes something and that's why all court does is balance the scales to try and find that justice the weight of the crime versus the weight of the remedy you suddenly have a great deal of faith in the court system well i've started to have more because i'm having more in myself and having more in myself realizing that others are just like me really or they want to try and be like me or you know they once were like me So you're, Brothers and sisters. So, so, you're, so you're not on your own anymore? You? No, no. It's not us and them. It, you know, Neo must become Agent Smith. And when it's, the minute he does that, Agent Smith becomes Neo. And so everything that is Neo is Agent Smith, and everything that is Agent Smith is Neo. And the best of both that I agree will come out. Now, Neo loved his, his woman, but he loved humanity. His purpose. He recognised that the only way to end this conflict is to call a truce. 